Hi Scorpio, welcome to your soulmate reading. I hope all of you are doing well. Um, so today Spirit had very specific messages for you Scorpio and um, I'd like to say it up front, maybe this reading won't resonate with everyone, but sometimes that's just how the messages come through. Um, I am connecting with the energy of Scorpio that is, it's twofold. You are in pain you've been hurt by someone or you've hurt someone, but you also have this very strong knowing that your soulmate or the divine masculine is, why did I say divine masculine? Divine feminine could be, but I guess I'm connecting more with my femmes watching who want to know more about their divine masculine. Um, I feel like the divine masculine energy is waking up. But it could also simply mean, because masculine energy is more action-oriented, while feminine energy is being open to receive, that for a lot of you, that ability to act on your desire is coming through, but also the ability to really know at a very deep cellular level that your manifestation on this soulmate connection is coming through. So that's why I just wanted to say this right off the bat, that Today's reading might not resonate with everyone, but it is a very specific message for people who are in deep inner work concerning a soulmate connection or people who fundamentally know that they are calling their divine counterpart in. And I feel it's a divine masculine coming in. But again, tarot is gender neutral, but I am getting an energy which is predominantly going to resonate perhaps with, with the feminine energy watching that is thinking about a divine masculine. But please take it as it resonates, as this is a general reading. So it could also mean that the energy of action is calling out or is being woken up. Uh, so the time is coming for the divine masculine energy to rise in the soulmate connection. So maybe you have been in receiving mode where you have done the inner work to be ready for love, because trust me, that also needs a lot of work. Sometimes we think, oh, it should be so easy to receive love, right? Like everybody wants to be loved. What's so hard about that? Well, <laughs> then ask yourself, um, you know, are all the walls around you and Scorpio, you know this really well. Um, sometimes we create these walls around us and it's difficult for us to receive love. So I think some of you who've done that inner work on being open to receiving, now the divine masculine energy is waking up in, waking up in you or around you that is inspiring you to act or there is inspired action that's going to take place around you or you are going to take that action. I mean, the cards will tell us which way it is. But I want to go back to what I said right at the beginning. There is an acknowledgement from your spirit team that we recognize the pain, we recognize the hurt. And maybe some of you have spent a lot of time thinking about why would the universe or spirit team make you go through so much pain, disappointment, anxiety, you know, not being at ease with your own self or with all the energies around you. But they're saying, you know, just trust in the process. And this is all part of the divine masculine energy being woken up in this soulmate connection. So there's definitely a soulmate bond that is getting reactivated or activated, but I think it's more reactivation. So I think a lot of you who will connect with today's reading know who this is about. Like there's a very specific person that you have on your mind when you will be watching this, this reading. I'm seeing the two of cups at the split right off the bat. So clearly soulmate connection it is. I'm going to go in a very free flow manner today my spirit team wants to channel that way so we're going to open up by first looking at what is the connection around this divine union around this soulmate connection currently what is the energy around this divine union this soulmate connection show me spirit we have justice that's nice i like that as your first card out there's a white feather and there's a heart have we not been seeing white feathers? I've definitely been seeing it in the sign of Capricorn. So maybe some of you are connecting with Capricorn energy card number 11. It's like your feelings versus your thoughts. I think everything is being mirrored back to you. We do see the mirror here. So I think it's all... You're starting to understand how this soulmate connection is 
getting balanced or going to get balanced. I think in the past, this has felt a, like a very imbalanced connection. And now the mirror is being shown to you on what needs to be done or what will be different, what will be changed so that this connection comes back into balance. What's the energy around this connection? Ace of Pentacles, yep. That's why I felt like that activation energy on the soulmate bond is definitely here. Um, some of you do mantras, like, you know, Sanskrit mantras, because I'm seeing that um, mudra position in this card. You're praying. Some of you have been praying for this and temperance is here. Temperance is here and she, you know, this is uh, the angel of healing, angel Isis. And this is all about pure divine love. Two energies, divine masculine and feminine getting poured into this big cup of love. Beautiful, Scorpio. This is a massive awakening of the soulmate connection. You got two major arcanas in a spread of three cards. So that's huge. And look at both the major arcanas. They are speaking about balance, justice, justice and temperance. And I feel like there's a reason why you're just seeing the angel wings and not the face. Because I think they want you to insert whatever image, whether it's your own image, your soulmate's image, but they're saying it doesn't matter. You are divinely protected. This connection is divinely guided. For some of you, you have no idea how much protection exists around you when it comes to this soulmate bond. It's part of your destiny, right, Scorpio? So I think if you've been fighting this, I highly doubt that you have been, but if you have been fighting this, I think you'll be better off not fighting it because it's part of your destined path. And you might as well just go through this experience because... I think your last reading was titled uh, The Light is Where the Wound Is because this soulmate connection is going to bring you that activation that is needed to get into that wound, to bring, to, to bring that light to you. And the angel of temperance, the angel of healing is here. So you're very guided. You're very protected on this journey, uh, Scorpio. So I think you have, you are getting in your own way is what I want to say. What's the energy around Scorpio's soulmate? Let's look at the energy around your person, the soulmate in Scorpio's orbit. Show me the energy around the soulmate, the tower. I did see that in your, um, you know, in your, in your pre-shuffle meditation, because I meditate before I start the reading and before I start recording. The tower. Wow. The, the phrase that I'm hearing is somebody is getting completely, someone's been taken by surprise on this connection. Something's happened that they weren't expecting. It, and this is a very internal process. So I don't, maybe something in the 3D world has also happened, but I think for this person, something very intuitive or at an energetic level is, is taking place. I'm seeing letters. Maybe you guys used to write letters to one another or you still write letters to one another because I'm seeing text, like a lot of written text floating about. Um, maybe someone's been reminiscing. You've been rereading letters or emails or text messages that you exchanged with this person. Maybe they're doing the same thing. And that is really shaking up or stirring their soul like the tower energy typically does. And something is trying to come to the surface or spirit is trying to bring something to the surface for your person show me more 10 of pentacles wow 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 okay and i see a mirror again um okay show me more what's the energy around scorpio soulmate the ten of swords wow one more please three of wands i don't know if there's physical distance between the two of you if there is uh, and it doesn't have to be physical distance if it, there's emotional mental like there's not enough maybe conversation happening or maybe you haven't spoken to this person in years i don't know right everybody's story is different but you know who you would apply this reading to so that's a clue that the reading is for you but if a clear person is coming into your mind when you're watching this, then 
I think that's this is your reading. Like there is a message in here for you. You know, I'm hearing a message that just as quickly as this ended is as quickly how it can restart. There's an energy of quick starts and endings here. New beginnings, endings, new beginnings, endings. So there's a very cyclical nature to the soulmate connection. Uh, but this is a soulmate connection. I'm not seeing this as like a twin flame. Um, you know, where there's like a period of separation and then coming back together, maybe, but I'm getting more of a soulmate connection here. So somebody who's, you know, actually meant for a higher level, healthy connection with you, but there has been some sort of ending, or I think this distance, this person is thinking about how to bridge the gap, how to end this distance that has taken place that exists right now between you and this person. Ten of Pentacles, something big. Some big change is also happening in this person's overall stability in life. What is the energy around you when it comes to the soulmate connection, Scorpio? What is the energy around you when it comes to the soulmate connection? The magician, okay. You are being your Scorpionic self and working with your intuition and trying to see where it's guiding you. Two of wands, okay. Two of wands. Yep. You're at a crossroads yourself when it comes to this connection. You have the ace of cups. I don't know, Scorpio, if you have um, someone new in your orbit already, uh, or, or you're like experimenting with a new beginning in love. And that's the crossroads for you that you know, this is a soulmate connection with this other person. But for whatever reason, it's come to a pause, it's come to a standstill. And there's also another energy I'm seeing in your sphere. And you're kind of like, okay, you're at a bit of a crossroads between. So you definitely have two energies around you. One is this really intense soul tie that you feel with someone. And I think the other thing could be that maybe you're trying to put yourself out there because you want to come out of this connection that's clearly not working, at least at this stage. But I'm telling you, it's getting reactivated with that Ace of Pentacles. Um, so maybe that's what the push and pull is because at an intuitive energetic level, you already know that the soulmate connection is getting reawakened. But there is this Ace of Cups around you, which is also like, mm, but I also want to be like, you know, hoping for a brand new beginning with someone else altogether. Because maybe this has gotten too heavy for you, Scorpio. I get that. I get that. Because of that hurt sentiment that we started the reading with. Some of you have been really, really hurt by the situation, by this person. Let me look at your soulmate's overall energy. Like, what's the energy around them? Just overall in life, what's the energy around your soulmate? Because this, the energy that we read right now is the energy around them when it comes to the soulmate connection. But I just want to tap into what's the overall energy around them? What's the overall energy around them? The Six of Wands. Okay. Show me more. The Knight of Cups. The Star. Okay, Aquarius energy showing up here. Healing. So, you know, we had the Temperance card when we looked at the Mutual Energy. This person might be like in the public eye. That's uh, a very literal kind of translation of the six of wands and the star. What's the knight of cups? What's the knight of cups? Show me. Temperance again. Okay. So this is linked to the temperance card that we saw earlier. They're trying to heal something. There is an energy of, there's actually double energy of healing around them with the star and the temperance card. So Sagittarius energy as well. I'm also getting a very specific message, might not resonate with all of you, but I think some of you might think that this person is doing really well, they're in the public eye, they're getting on with their life. But I think deep down, this person is really trying hard to heal. Because with temperance and the star, it's basically saying that, you know, they cannot fight this either, because it's part of their destiny as well. 
So as much as, you know, they might be focusing on work, they might be looking to like, or they're, you know, probably getting a lot of attention and, and whatnot, you know, um, like just professionally, maybe, you know, uh, maybe otherwise. But I just think that this connection that you both have, it's really part of a destined plan between the two of you. Okay. What is this person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards Scorpio? Their thoughts, their thoughts on this soulmate connection with Scorpio. We've got the nine of swords. Yeah, I had a feeling that this person doesn't know that this is a soul tie. The sun. Hmm. And you have the four of pentacles. This person could be just really focused on their money, their wealth. There could be some financial issues that they've been through or are going through. They're trying to fight the demons in their own head, which is literally the meaning of this card, you know? They're trying really hard and that's where, you know, the star energy, the temperance energy is helping them uh, or we sure hope that it is helping them. But I think, you know, they're, the demons of their mind keep plaguing them like this, so the four of pentacles. So this person has this push and pull energy when it comes to the soul bond. It makes them really happy, but then they also switch back into a mode where they constantly think about the fears, about everything that can go wrong, how they can potentially get hurt in this connection. So that's why it's like push and pull. What are their feelings for you, Scorpio? What are their feelings for you? The fool. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And this is the after tarot. So here the fool has already taken that leap of faith, you know, and they've already taken that step. So, and he's stopping to like smell the white rose. Um, mm, look at that, the 10 of wands, the feeling defeated. So maybe this person feels they tried really hard. They took that leap of faith towards you, but you know, they just felt burdened because it didn't work out. And now they're trying to find the courage within them to kind of deal with all of that deal with the emotions deal with everything that's you know now left over in terms of these emotions these feelings that need to be processed and I don't think this person is ha having a really good time dealing with all this I think they worry they are showing me the nine of swords they're showing me the ten of wands that's like the combination of those two cards is really heavy energy plus you know they're showing me like the figure that we see in the death card with the four of pentacles and death is the sign of Scorpio. Um, Cause it's all about transformations, ending cycles, beginning new ones. Somebody seems really like holding on to their money or holding back, like just really keeping their cards close to their chest because they don't want to get hurt. This is somebody who doesn't give to love because they feel scared that it's going to hurt them. I just saw the eight of wands. Um, Momentum is picking up. Remember that main theme that is getting reactivated. Show me more. What are their intentions or desired outcome with Scorpio? The hanged one, the hanged man, sorry. Um, that's interesting because, you know, now we see two figures on the hanged man. So they do want you to come and nourish them because they know this bond is very nourishing for them. They do hope for that, that they can experience that again. Wow, you have the Ten of Swords once again. They want to put down their armor, Eight of Wands. So it really wanted to come out. So it has come out now. And we have Temperance once again at the bottom of the deck. So Temperance has shown up three times in your reading. So strong Isis energy. Uh, if some of you associate with the goddess Isis, I think if you can do some meditation rituals with, with her energy, I think it'd be really healing for this connection. Um, both of you are trying to heal because obviously there's temperance on the mutual side, temperance on their side as well. Um, you have the nice ace, ace of cups as well, Scorpio. this person is going through that push and pull energy like what to do next so let's let's ask what are their next steps towards this connection what are their next steps towards this connection because do remember that they had the tower 
as the main energy opening up on this connection. So there's a big shift in how they were thinking about this connection previously and how they're thinking about it now. What are their next steps towards Scorpio, towards this connection? Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ooh, that adds up to a Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups plus the Ace, Ten of Cups. Hermit. Show me more on that Hermit. Emperor. Really interesting energy. I feel this is a person who almost came forward and said something, but then they pull themselves back because they're like, wait, wait, wait. I want to make sure that I craft the message in a way that Scorpio truly understands what I'm going through, what I've been through when it comes to this connection and what's truly happening. The page of pentacles, they're really trying to practice perhaps even um, in a very physical way, they're practicing how they're going to approach the conversation with you. Maybe they're doing like a dry run with friends. I'm getting that kind of energy because they don't want to get it wrong. And the emperor is they want to put structure to this now. So maybe in the past, this was a very free flowy kind of energy. Let's see where it goes. But now I think this person has had some inner illumination with the hermit god. You might, something might have happened in this connection in the month of April that's quite significant around the solar eclipse that happened. April 8th, I think. And now we're going into the Lionsgate portal on August 8th. That could be very significant for this connection. This person now wants to take charge. If you felt, oh, wow, now they're telling me this is the divine masculine energy waking up because the emperor is the divine masculine. Um, sorry, it took me two seconds to connect that. But um, if, if this person was previously very passive, and actually now I'm getting that additional message that yes, for you also, the divine masculine perhaps might be waking up as an energy, but it was definitely for your person as well, because they were perhaps in the very passive seat previously when it came to this connection. Now they're being woken up and they're now going to take charge. Like the emperor takes charge. It doesn't wait for directions from anyone. It knows where it needs to go. So they're going to come in with a plan. And that's why it's like they almost came forward, but then they were like, wait, I haven't figured out the finer details to this. So let me go back, do my homework, and then come back to Scorpio because they want to land this message right. They know that there is no room for error when it comes to Scorpio. Because of what has happened in this connection previously, um, they know there is no room left for error when it comes to the communication on this on this connection, which I think is quite nice that they're now finally giving this connection the seriousness, the time and energy perhaps that is always needed. Let me just see what is the potential? What is the potential? I want to see. Of course, I mean, it is a soul bond. We know that is the potential, but I know some people like to just know, especially because I saw that Ace of Cups and maybe you're evaluating whether you should continue to hold on to this or whether you should try to invest your energy in something new or someone new. Um, what is the potential of this soul bond, the soul tie that we've just seen? What is the potential? What is the potential? High Priestess, a very intuitive, very intuitive connection. Well, very Scorpio as well. The Hanged Man, once again. All major arcana so far. The Two of Pentacles. I think it needs a perspective shift from your end and also from their end for this connection to go forward. I think you already know that. There is the Ten of Swords. What is ending? Okay, wow. All the same cards that we had are showing up again. So... I don't know. It, like I'm gonna just I'm gonna clarify that because I'm getting that for some of you, you will decide to walk away from this and pursue something completely different, and that could just mean you know you want to focus more on yourself and really not really think about connections or relationships. For some others, it could mean that you're putting an end to this, even though it feels like a very strong connection. But look, you have free will, and for whatever reason, right now this doesn't seem like something you should invest in. I am seeing the number eight, even though this is the two of pentacles, but you see the eight around it. So I'm telling you, August 8th could be very important for this connection, the Lionsgate portal. The new moon also I'm seeing August 4th. That's very important. 
the nine of pentacles is now shown up there's something about money attached to this connection i'm intuitively getting that the ten of wands basically pulling the same cards from different decks the moon yeah the, and the, the moon is very important so something about fears something's not been said what spirit is saying is there is a lot of potential in this connection but a lot needs to be spoken a lot needs to be revealed like in in the high priestess the traditional rider way she's carrying a scroll but the scroll is rolled up here she's like got this open book so it's time to open up communication it's time to for this energy the divine masculine energy to open up and to be very transparent and to have an open all cards on the table kind of conversation and then i feel the fears that both you and your soulmate have about this connection and and what it can do to you and what it can bring for you but also how much it can hurt you i think all of that can start to get healed but it needs a lot of open communication okay um what's your advice for scorpio what's your advice for scorpio two of pentacles your ships are coming in you need to decide two of swords just when i said that you need to decide i'm telling you there are two energies fighting for you in the energetic realm you might not see this in the 3d world you might not have physical evidence and you might watch this and be like no there's nobody fighting over me trust me in the energetic world it's already begun the games have begun yep eight of cups but you keep holding on to that one cup scorpio this is the person that walked away because i see a figure in the background and she is still holding on to that one cup you're reminiscing you're thinking about the what ifs if only i had said that they had said that let go of all of that scorpio the universe has a plan for you which is way more like fascinating amazing that you can ever imagine so don't fight this and you know if you're a cross watcher i would really say don't fight this as well because we're seeing anxiety you were seeing this push and pull energy on both sides and this is a very significant soul tie between the two of you so if i were you i would just respect that and go with it that's what spirit wants you to do because that's how the decision will come through the knight of wands someone or this connection is going to charge forward the minute those communication gates are opened up but definitely the divine masculine energy is being woken up in the soulmate connection i'm going to leave it there scorpio um if this connected with you i request you that you please hit that like button for me support my channel uh subscribe if you feel called to it uh or share with other scorpios who might benefit from this message thank you and i'll see you soon take care bye bye